In this video we're going to look at how to stack spectra in Excel. It's often really useful to stack them if you want to compare the different spectra. If you don't stack then it becomes really difficult. Did that peak shift? Did it, did it move? Is it smaller? Is it higher? You can't really tell but stacking them makes it much, much easier. Plus when you come to write your reports up then stacking the spectra makes it much easier for the reader uh, to see what's going on. So let's have a look. Let's find our Excel spreadsheet. So this is an Excel spreadsheet. In this case it's got um, IR data inside it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack them. So the first thing is we go to our data. So these are our graphs. At the moment we've got these graphs sample 2A, sample 2 3, sample 3A. This is our data and we're going to start with sample 1. If we go to the spectra for sample 1, so it's important to have done the spectra first, you'll see that, um, that the highest peak up here um, is near the top and the highest absorbance has been uh, referenced at about 0 0.80. What we're going to do is stretch the spectra very slightly and instead of going from 0 to 0.8 we're going to stretch it out and make it from 0 to 1. Uh, it'll become clear why we've done that later. Um, we're not so interested in the absolute values of the absorbance, we're more interested in the differences in the absorbance, so the heights of the peaks, but the absolute heights don't matter so much, it's just the, how high they are relative to the other peaks. So we're going to change this graph from being from 0 to 0.8 to make it from 0 to 1, but at the process we're going to make this peak slightly bigger, so everything is going to be stretched to slightly higher numbers. So we've got 0.8 and we're going to make it 1. So we go to the data and we're going to type in normalized absorbance. Like that. Make the column a bit wider. I think we'll insert a new column there just to separate. It's got normalized absorbance. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this number here and we're going to divide it by 0.8. So we're going to say equals that column there divided by 0 0.8 like that and we're going to drag it down. So you'll notice that this number is slightly bigger than that one. Drag it all the way to the bottom. There we go. And I think we'll make this one uh, we'll give it um, three decimal places I think. So we'll format the cells, the number, and we'll make this three decimal places. There we go, so you can see what's going on. If we go look back at the spectra again, sample 1A, um, and we go to the top, the peak, where the peak is, you'll see a box appearing now, and it says that it's uh, the data point is number 1392, and it's on 0.75. So we're going to look at the data point for 1392. Go up. Up to the top to 1392. It was on 0.75, but now it's much closer to 1. And we want it, it doesn't have to be exactly on 1, but we want that the tallest peak to be close to the number 1. Um, and so now we're not going to plot the graph straight away, but now if we did the graph, you'd end up with a peak at 1392 being at 0.943. So now what we do is go over to the next set of data that sample, we've done sample 1 so now we've gone to sample 1A. I'll insert a new box and I'll copy and paste the first three lines. So I'll go like this. Um, because it's copied and pasted in, then when I look at the number it's now got G4 which is correct which is this one, G4 but it's still divided by 0.8 so we need to have a look at sample 1a and sample 1a doesn't go from 0 to 0.7 sorry 0.8 it goes to 0 to 0.7 so this means that we're going to change the number to 0.7 like that and there's something else I need you to do as well we'll put brackets around this we've made it going from 0 to 1 but 
for reasons that will come clearer later on, we need to offset it. So we're going to add the number 1 to all the data points, which means all the data points, that was nearly 0, now everything's going to start at 1 and go to nearly the number 2. And we're going to drag that down, all the way to the bottom, there we go, and go back to the top. And we're now we've done that sample number there. So we need to move along. We'll do the next one. So we'll insert a box. We'll copy that one down. Control C, Control V. So now we've got this number. This number here, sorry, this one here has got a 0.7 in it. So it's sample two. So we look at sample two. And this actually goes up to 1.4. So we're actually, instead of stretching it out, we're going to actually make it smaller, going to 0 to 1. So go back to here. Um, we're going to go and divide it, not by 0.7, but by 1.4. There we go. And at the moment it's saying it's adding 1, but actually this time we're going to add 2. So we've add, not, add nothing to this one, we have add 1 to this one, we're going to add 2 to this one, we're going to have 3 to the next one, and so forth. Gonna drag this down. To the bottom. Okay, all the data is there. And we're just gonna do one more just to just to show. So we've done normalized data, insert like so, copy that one in here, control C, control V. It's sample 2A, we look at sample 2A, it's going up to 0.7. So you go back to data, and this time that needs to be divided by 0.7. And this time on the previous one, this one, sorry, the previous one you've added, point, added a 2 to the end of it. This one now we're going to add a 3. And drag it down to the bottom. Now we've got our data here and, and we've got the spectra so now we're going to set up a stacked spectra. So we go to sample 1 and we do move or copy and it's create a copy. So this is our spectra and it, at the moment it's for sample 1 but we're going to rename it and we're going to be calling it all. So there's all and I'll move it over, drag it over so it's, it's the, we've now got data and then we've got all. <coughs> now we've got in total we've got um, we've got ten graphs. So if each graph, the first graph goes from naught to one, the second from one to two, two to three, three to four, then in total the scale should go up to the number ten. Might not be clear at the moment, but I'm going to change this scale, and I'm going to click left click here. So use the mouse to left click to get the rectangle, right click, format axis, and instead of it going to 0.8, I'm going to make it, I'm going to change it to 10. Um, and these major axes here, I'll just change that, that's to 1. I mean, all these can change later on. But now I've made the graph much smaller, and it's gone from 0 to 10 on the absorbent scale. It's no longer sample one because actually sample one is this one here and at this point it, it, I'll just drag sample one down I'll just put it down here somewhere we might want to change labeling later on but this one at the bottom is now sample one I'm now going to add the next one so I'm going to right click select data and now I'm going to add and I'm going to give it the series name is sample 1a. My x values, I click the x values here and it'll give me this. But what I'll need to do is go to the data sheet and it's sample 1a we're going to be doing. So the x value is this one here. It's a wave, length, wave number, sorry. And the y one go up to the top is the normalized absorbance. Select that one. 
click that again and now you've got to say OK and say OK again and now you can see something rather clever one is stacked on top of the other now you notice there's different colours and actually different colours are really pretty but actually I'd rather you, you kept them all in black because otherwise you, you start to focus on colour and you're not really meant to be focusing on colour you're meant to be focusing on where the peaks are so I'm going to select data um, no that's the wrong one right click format data series um, there's there's a line manager here the line is a solid line oh no you can say yes if it says complex formatting um, and the width it says 1.5 so there we are and we now we've got we've got two and you can see just by looking at these they look quite similar but you've got to bear in mind that we're going on a there's a long distance from zero all the way to 4,000 and actually later on what we'll do is we'll select a smaller area around here and then it'll be easier to tell the differences between the different spectra so you've got sample 1 in there um, and this one is sample 1A now I'll close this box down on here you um, in the design somewhere or the formatting I can't remember which one there's the uh, legend We'll look at it later but there is a button for the legend because this is Windows 13 I can't remember where it's new to me add chart element there we are legend so we can do uh, at the right there we go and we can do top you can put it where you want left top right okay sometimes okay it's there so at the moment it's here so we um, what I'm going to do is stack them one on top of the other but in actual fact because because they're all the same color you won't know which one's which so actually I'm tempted to get rid of the legend and say none and then we'll just write our own sample one sample twos on top oh, that didn't work no that didn't work I don't know why. That's sample one. Um, control C. Control V. I should be making another box somewhere, but I don't know where it is. We'll leave that for later. I'll. We won't do that on this video. Somehow. It's not copying the box. I really what I wanted to do was copy the sample one and then right above it sample 1a and then the next one so we know which one's which but we'll come back to that later so that's the next one so now we want to stack the next spectra on so we go right click select data um, this time we're going to add it says we're going to add and the series name now is sample 2 sample 2 the x value we've got this little box we go to the data we go right up to the top, it's sample 2 we're doing this is the X is the wave number so we're going to block all that one to the bottom and then this one we're going to Y value which is the normalized absorbance like so click that box there, say OK say OK and now you've got the other spectra sitting on top and we're going to do one more so um, this the data here looks a little on this one looks a bit blocky I don't know on that one a little bit blocky I don't quite know why um, we'll have a look later let's see it looks blocky when you um, all oh no sorry all plus 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 Oh no, I should have done the other one. All. Oh. Jeez, in this plus, I'm using the wrong pluses. I don't know why this data looks a bit blocky. Um, but anyway, you can see the graphs. I'm going to change this data here to format data series. Got the line. And we're going to go to the black one. Um, sometimes, if you take it down, maybe to one zero, it's still a bit blocky. I don't know why. Okay. 
anyway there we go so that's the second uh, data point um, take it down to see the whole graph all right so that's one data two three and we'll do the last one that we did so that's sample one one a two we're going to do two a so select data add sample 2a x values you've got this clear box you go to your data go right to the top sample 2a we're doing an email popped up 2a take your x values which is a wave number down to the bottom there we go and then take your y values uh, click in that box say ok say ok here and there is your other spectra sitting that nicely format data series the line solid line and then you close that box down so now you've got your data and they're being stacked and that's how you stack them if I go insert maybe the easiest way is um, you should be able to insert text text box and then you go and write sample 1a and maybe that that sits there let's, let's remove that one and just do a new one sample 1a this one control CV there we are, you can do it. I don't know how the other sample number got on. But this is sample one. Control V. Sample two. Control V. Sample two A. So now we've got our spectra, we've got the wave number, we've got the absorbance. Yes, these aren't the absorbances that we saw, they're stacked absorbances, but actually what I'm going to do later is uh, once everything's stacked up on here, what you'll do is you'll go to this, this box here, you'll uh, get the rectangle, you'll right click it, format axes, and then what you'll do is um, text options, and somewhere in here, text options I, I'll have a think I can't remember now where it is on this one but somewhere on here you're gonna say um, no writing down here so in other words you won't actually see an absorbance any of these numbers will disappear you'll see absorbance still there you can still have the, the tick marks if you want still there but it'll just be wave number against absorbance but it won't specify what the absorbance is because what we're interested in, the relative height of these peaks, we're not interested in the absolute absorbance. And that's how you stack the spectra. So remember, if we go back, the first thing we do is we go to the first data set and we look at the height, um, sample 1a, we look at that and we see, oh, it's 0.7. So then we take the absorbance and divide by 0.7. And then we do the same for the next one, but with the next one, divide by 1.4 here, but then we add the number one. The next one, we look at what the highest peak is, it says 0.7, so we divide it by 0.7, and then adding three, and so forth. So whatever the biggest number is here, that's what you divide by. And eventually, you'll get to all, and you could say data and all, all spectra or whatever, and that'll give you them all stacked. And from then, it, it's much easier to compare what's going on with your spectra. And that's the end of this video. If I can find where the end button is to press. Um, I should, oh, maybe I'll minimize this.